Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now this is uh, again our hide in plain sight, and uh, I've been having a little think, and the last couple have been about uh, a little bit girly. So I've decided that uh, it's the guy's turn. So what I've what I've done is, this can also be applied to women, so it's not just specifically for men, but um, I will be using a man's wallet and, um, and a, a few, few other things that aren't inherently girly as the last couple have been. So we've got a wallet. This one's, this one's an empty, empty wallet, um, one of my um, boyfriend's cast-offs. Um, so you would obviously have your wallet, which would be ideally full of full of money full of cards full of full of various uh, things now um, when you're giving um, a wallet or a bag or anything to someone it's always customary to um, not give an empty wallet to someone so um, it is kind of like an old wives tale or, or custom to have um, a couple of coins in the um, uh, in the little pouch, and you'll find in some some bags, um, some ladies' bags, or even um, some of the male um, wallets, that there is a little tiny little pouch where you would put um, where you could have a, a small coin. Um, now uh, again, we have our our little um, Mercury head coin. Uh, this one is a dime. So thank you to the to the lady who sent the little message and told me that this was a dime. Um, and uh, again, you could use this because it is uh, about prosperity. It's about um, bringing um, money, fast money in. So that you could have this and you could place it um, in your, your wallet um, or even find a spot say um, yeah. we have some Bali money Indonesian money <laughs> didn't realize that was in there um, you could have you could place it in um, a, a section of the wallet that you know that isn't going to it's not going to pop out so say in here and you could have that in there and that would be the the um the giving over of a wallet that's not an empty wallet so you could understand the the symbology of an empty wallet would be something that um would, would never be able to um have money because it's always empty but if you've got something in there then it's always it is that attraction of, of abundance so you could have one of these you could also uh, charge it with intent um, when you place it in so not only when you're giving uh, giving the wallet to someone but obviously your your own so always have that um, a, a small amount of, of money in the wallet somewhere um, or in your purse somewhere um, now um, okay this might freak out some of the my viewers from America but these um, this is some Australian Australian money now our money is very colorful uh, and um, so I'll just so that's a that's a $50 note and you can see it's it's basically plastic our money is plastic and you can see that it has a um, a section which is see-through um, so it's a little bit hard to forge the our uh, our money. Um, we have the twenty dollar. Same thing. Our little window. We have ten dollar. Again, the little window. And lastly, we have the five dollar. Again, the window. Now, what I find quite interesting is that our denominations. On one side, we have a lady. So you can see on the $20. And on the other side, we have a man. And that's exactly the same for the 50. We have a man. Other side, we have a woman. Uh, $10, we have a man. Other side, 
we have a woman. So we have, um, and lastly, we have, um, unfortunately, we have the queen on one side and we have a depiction of our capital um, of Australia, um, which is Canberra. Uh, that's a whole other kettle of fish that I won't go into, but the fact that we have a man and a woman on either side means that you can see that we have, say, the, the balance of the goddess and god, the balance of the male and the female energy. If you think the balance of the male and the female energy, that is the creation, that is um, when the man and, the, and woman or male and female energy come together, then that creates the third. So if you think of your money as one, one, um, one piece, especially in Australia. I'm not exactly sure how it goes with America. I don't think that there is that uh, the same male and female counterpart, but um, you think of the goddess and god energy, that masculine and feminine energy coming together and making a third, making that prosperity that comes. So when you send out your money, okay, it is creating that that third, that divine child, that energy that comes back to you. Okay. Um, other things that you can do uh, with, I'm sure that you would um, have worked this out. A lot of it is um, something to do, say, um, a lot of used in hoodoo, uh, is when you fold something, when you fold it towards yourself, okay, um, then it is bringing money towards you. Um, when you fold something away from yourself, then again you are sending it out. So when you're folding your money, you should always fold it towards yourself. Okay. Um, so yeah, folding it towards yourself. Um, and placing it in your wallet so that when you do send it and give it out that it is folded towards you so that it is um, giving it, it, it is going to come back it is that whole cycle of what you give out will come back um, other things that you can do with um, with your money is you can anoint you can anoint your money. So if you've got um, anointing oil, so you can have like a, a money oil, um, you can have, if you don't actually have a specific money oil, then you can use um, uh, cinnamon oil. Uh, cinnamon oil is nice and nice and hot, so it's an active, active thing. So the acting uh, part of sending it out um, and coming back. So when you are anointing your oil, you're always thinking um, about that money coming back uh, threefold. So when you you anoint, so you can just do like a little a little dot on the oil, and as you anoint it, you are saying that this money, as I spend it, will come back to me threefold. Um, so there's another little thing that you can do. Now all of these things at the moment, if someone saw your wallet, it wouldn't be anything that was uh, overtly witchy. Um, so, um, again, you'd be placing your, your money in your wallet and if you were, um, folding it, you would place it in your wallet and fold it so that it is, um, going to come back to you. So when you're spending it, again, you are handing it over to, uh, to whoever, um, so that the money is always facing you. Okay. Another little thing, we have all our little um, parts where you can put your cards and, and various other things. Now, I have made a, um, a little sigil. I'll let you have a look at that sigil. You can see that. Now, this little sigil is a, um, a money, money magnet sigil. Um, and it's obviously flat. You can see it's on a piece of paper and it is a uh, business card size. So this sigil is, uh, let's say, we'll, we'll say with the triangle, so triangle of manifestation. So we want to manifest the idea that money is, is coming, um, at the, being a magnet to money. Uh, we have in that 
uh, sigil is the symbol of Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is the um, the planet of expansion. So it's good for when you're doing um, money spells to do it on a Thursday um, at the in the hour of Jupiter. So the day of Jupiter and the hour of Jupiter, so that it is expanding your money, it is expanding your opportunities. Uh, so we have that, um, the, the symbol of Jupiter. We have a little sigil in the center of our triangle of manifestation, which is, um, I'm a magnet to money, um, and money's, uh, I have more than I need, um, and um, money, money comes to me money loves me or um, whatever it is so you can make up your own sigil you can use this one if you like but it's a it's always more powerful if you make up your own sigil uh, and then we've got a little symbol of um, obviously the uh, symbol for for money um, and kind of like a coin we have it going out but it's also coming back into the center but it's coming back times three so whatever you send out comes back to you times three so it's not only um, when you say, hear about the law of three, what, what you send out comes back to you times three. Most people think of it in a negative way, saying, oh no, you don't do bad magic because it's gonna come back to you times three. But they forget about when you sending out good things, it comes back to you times three. So if you have that in the idea of sending out money, when you're sending out your money, it comes back to you times three. So it becomes that, that um, that current that current of energy um, so we have money which is currency so it is a current it is a flowing effect so if you don't use your money then it starts to stagnate it's like it's like water running water so you need to actually use your money um, for you to get money as well but the the uh, the trick is not to use too much so when you're spending your money again you have that idea of when I'm spending it I am going to get it back times three so whatever I spend will come back to me times three so we've got that little um, uh, little sigil here and that can be placed in your wallet um, so it can be um, placed in your wallet in a, in a way that no one is going to see it so we put it in your wallet and it just looks like a piece of paper amongst a whole bunch of cards so it is quite um, innocuous someone who has a, a casual look at your wallet is not going to go oh my god you have uh, pentacles and and um, witchy stuff and weird weird sigils in your in your wallet um, it's not something that they're going to even notice even if you have it to the front it's not something that someone is going to notice um, offhand so you can have that there meaning that that wallet starts to become a magnet so whatever it sends out it will come back times three so now you can also now this here is a it's not really a credit card. It is a, um, we we'll say it's one of those electronic money prepaid things. Now, if you're getting all excited, please don't. This one is expired and it's um, one of those charge cash cards. So if you're getting that, oh, you're going to take all my money, then don't. It's not, <laughs> it's not even active. But it's using um, an idea of, in this day and age, most people don't use the uh, the physical money anymore. Our money is more um, a card, um, especially in Australia. We um, have um, like PayWave where we use our credit card and just swipe it, um, and um, our money comes off off of our bank account. Now, if you use something like this, now if you take a photocopy of your um, of your credit card in some way, um, and then you can do um, certain things to it. So, um, what you can do is um, um, you can put sigils and um, different and various things. So, the same sigil that we made. Um, here you can actually um, draw it 
on your credit card. So your credit card becomes that um, magnet to, to ma um, money. Okay, you can also put this uh, sigil on the actual money itself, okay, as you send it out. Um, but again, it's a little bit, um, each time you do it, it's a little bit, a little bit hard and tedious. But if you have a representation of your credit card with the sigil on there, then it becomes that sympathetic magic where this, um, what looks alike, um, acts alike. So this looks like your credit card, even though it is just a photocopy representation of your credit card. Um, and then you have your sigil on there. So that is acting as a sympathetic link so that your credit card, every time you're, you're spending money, every time you um, uh, pay a bill with your credit card, every time you use your credit card, that money is then going to come back to you times three. Okay, so again, this one here, not, uh, not in use. It is just for representation only. Um, you can see that it's expired quite a bit. Um, okay, another thing that you can also put into your, um, into your wallet um, is one of these. You can, you can purchase a nice little um, lucky four-leaf clover. And that can go into your into your wallet. Um, I have one in mine. Um, let's see, you can place that in there. Nice little four leaf clover. And again, it doesn't look like something that people would go, oh, that's a cult um, and witchy and oh, you know, what are you doing? Um, uh, and so the the four leaf clover is um, about um, good luck, obviously, but it also wards off evil. Um, and uh, if you're into fairies, it helps you to see fairies and gnomes. So when you've got your wallet, um, who knows, you could see uh, a fairy or a gnome. Um, uh, yeah, so that's just a few little, um, little witchy things that don't look really witchy and will help you to bring money into your um, into your life um, bring prosperity into your life um, without um, the use of a you know, specific mojo bag or, or, or whatnot. Um, one last thing that you can do with your wallet if you would like to have a little kind of a mojo bag uh, type of thing is um, if you have like a little little bag and you can make that into a little mojo bag so you can have your your coin so you place your coin in your bag and in that uh, you can also have some just a few fenugreek seeds okay so it's one of the things that you don't really want to do is have strange looking herbs in your wallet, um, especially if you um, um, have the tendency for um, someone to, to pull you over and a um, police officer to pull you over and have a look at um, various things. You don't want to have something that looks like marijuana in your, in your wallet. So fenugreek seeds are just fenugreek seeds and fenugreek seeds are great for promoting prosperity so you can see there so you have in essence and you can anoint that coin um, you can anoint the fenugreek seeds um, and you have in essence a little mojo bag so you can put that into your wallet tuck it in and there you go you've got your little mojo bag that no one would be the wiser um, um, for no one would be the wiser so I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll be doing a few more to do uh, with a little bit more masculine idea of uh, hide in plain sight witchery. So uh, merry meet, merry part and merry meet again.